Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. I have a super quick and easy recipe today. This is for a lighter version of chips and guacamole. It's a little bit lower in fat and higher in protein. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying regular guacamole is not healthy. It is. Healthy fats are great to eat in moderation. However, if you're like me, there are those days when you don't want to eat guacamole in moderation. You want to eat the whole bowl, and then you want to make more, and then you want to eat that too. So this recipe is for those days. <laughs> For your baked tortilla chips, preheat your oven to 350 degrees, then take your favorite corn tortillas and cut those into either fourths or sixths, that's hard to say, and lay them out on a baking tray. I did line mine for easier cleanup, but it's not necessary. Squeeze a little bit of lime juice over top to add some nice flavor and also to help your spices stick, and then sprinkle on your favorite taco seasoning or any spices you prefer and bake them for 20 to 25 minutes. This will depend on your oven. When they're done, they should be crispy the whole way through. So I would give one a test at the 20 minute mark, add a little bit more time if needed, and do give them a turn halfway through to help them cook evenly. While the chips bake, you can make your guacamole, and I prefer mine to be chunky, so I chop my avocado instead of mashing it. I also add jalapenos. I remove the seeds and the ribs to make it less spicy. Dice those up very finely along with my red onion. And you can use white or green onion, but the red, I think, has a nice sweetness to it. I also like some diced tomato in mine, and I'm squeezing the juice from a whole lime and chopping up lots, lots of cilantro. If you're not a cilantro person, of course, just skip this. I'm also adding a clove of crushed garlic, some black pepper, and a couple dashes of hot sauce. My favorite is Cholula. And this is how I make my regular guacamole, but for this recipe, we're replacing some of the avocado with a can of white beans that are rinsed and pureed. You could probably use any kind of beans here, but these are good because they're very neutral, so they really just bulk up your guacamole without affecting the texture or the flavor all that much. These chips get so crunchy, I want you to hear this. Can you say, crunch it ties me, Captain? My whole childhood just flashed before my eyes. Is Captain Crunch vegan? Kinda want some now. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye.